Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I want to talk about five ADHD morning hacks. I know I've taught, I, it's, it's been a while since I talked about ADHD, so today I'm going to take a moment and talk about that. And a while ago, I did a video in, where I shared five things that you need, five ADHD morning routine um, tips. Um, I'll make sure I link it. But today I wanted to just add a couple more things that can help with your morning. What definitely with ADHD, it can, de it can help if you don't have ADHD, but it definitely helps when you do have ADHD. So that's why I'm sharing those today. And uh, but before I get into it, I want to take a quick moment and say, if you are subscribed, thank you so much for being a part of our world of awesomeness. And if you're not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button below so that you can join this awesomeness. And remember to tick the bell so that you are notified when I post new videos so you don't miss anything. And of course, if you'd like to purchase one or three of my books, there's also a link below that will take you to a site that shows you all your different options for where you can get one or three of my books. Okay, let me get back to it. First, food prep healthy breakfast. One of the things I mentioned in the other video was the importance of having a healthy breakfast because you know I always talk about how important it is to Make sure that you're feeding and fueling your body in order for it to deliver on those things that you want it to deliver throughout the day. So food prepping healthy breakfast gives you an opportunity to ensure that you always have healthier breakfast, that you have the healthier options, but it also saves you from having to do, go through that process in the morning of having, you know, because a healthy breakfast is not always the easiest thing to do. But one of the things that I know I used to do just because I was not eating breakfast, I wasn't eating the right breakfast. I would do things like um, oatmeal, um, overnight oats, and I would have several for the week. Or I would do um, egg cups where I would make different styles and different flavors and I would have you know enough for a week or a few days. Though when you do it like that, when you wake up in the morning, breakfast is almost ready. One of the things or one of the steps of your morning routine could just be, hey, put the um, put my breakfast in the toaster oven so that it's warm by the time I get done. So, you know, food, whatever your breakfast wants or wish, whatever you like for breakfast, see if you can find a way to food prep it so that it's there and almost ready when you wake up. Two, I talk about how important it is to get up right in time and not stay in the bed and just hang out and, you know, lose track of time. One of the best ways to do that is to have a very annoying when possible alarm that is away from you. But even if you don't have an annoying alarm, at least have an alarm that is away from you. That means that you would put an, uh, an additional alarm that you put in the bathroom, an additional alarm that you put in the kitchen or a place that you're going to go um, when you first get out of the bed. When that alarm is going off and it's getting annoying, you wanna get up and go turn that thing off. But when it's away from you, the good thing that it does is that it makes you push your feet on the ground and actually take a few steps. So once you start taking a few steps, then you have time or at least enough time to decide, hey, maybe since I'm up, I might as well just stay up and, you know, use the bathroom and start brushing my teeth and do all those things. So have a um, bathroom is one of the best, most effective ways, places to put it if you have a bathroom that's close enough to your bed or to your bedroom. But if not, just even if even the other side of the room by the door, somewhere close, somewhere that requires you to take at least a few steps once your feet are on the, off the bed. But don't do it where you can just reach from your bed and just stretch all the way and get it off and get it turned off. Make sure you got to get off the bed and take a few steps. Three, create a consistent um, routine flow. Our bodies respond very well to routine, whether or not you have ADHD. And if you have, if you start building a consistent routine, something that you're doing every day, it, your body gets used to it. Your body becomes comfortable with it. Your body starts just doing it automatically. So the more you can be consistent with your morning routine, the more, the more your body will adapt, the more your body with, uh, will adjust. And the easier it will be with um, for you to um, follow that routine. But make sure that it flows. Don't just, you know, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I go to the kitchen. I go there. I go there. No. 
okay, I go to the, I get up, I go to the bathroom while I'm in the bathroom. I do all my bathroom stuff and then I go to the closet and then I go there and then I go there and like make it flow. Don't make, you know, n- not that like circular motion that works. Not uh, every day because if it's chaotic, it's harder for your body to adapt to it. But if it flows, it's easier for the body and the brain to adapt to it. Four, set intentions for your day. Sometimes how we start the day, how we decide to start the day has a lot to do with how the day goes. And a lot of times what people neglect to do is decide how they want to how they want this day to go. Because once you get outside or once you step out, um, engage with the outside world and people start throwing things at you and the chaos starts coming at you, it's easy for the day to get chaotic. Before you get out, before you leave your house, even before you leave your bedroom, decide, okay, you know what? I'm having a good day. I'm having a productive day. This is how I want my day to be. I'm a very big proponent of affirmations and I love actually writing affirmations on the bathroom mirror. That could be a good place where you just where you set your intentions for that day where as you're brushing your teeth, you're re- being reminded of how you want your day to go. And before you leave the bathroom while you're still standing there, you can say your affirmations and you're looking yourself dead in the face and saying, "Hey, you know what? You're having a good day today. You're going to get all your stuff done. You're going to do this. You're going to do that." your day is going to be awesome. When you have that, you start your day with that. It gives you, you know, that extra pep in your step as opposed to when you walk outside and you're already worried about 350,000 things. Set your intentions. Five. I'm not even sure if this one is specifically a morning thing, but because this, it doesn't apply in the morning for everyone, but Whether or not you're a morning person, it's always ideal to get the heavier things, the things that require a little bit more concentration, the things that require a little bit more brain power. It's best to get them done when you are at your strongest. When you first wake up, when you've gotten started with your day, a lot of times you are not, um, you're not tired yet. You're not worn out. The day hasn't been, you know, things haven't already frustrated you. So you're probably in a better place to do the heavier things, the things that require more engagement from you. But if you're not a morning person and you're, you find that you're more productive in the afternoon, yeah, still save those things, those heavier things, the, the heavy lifting, the, the heavy mental lifting. Save those for the time when, you know, you're at your best. If you're taking meds, when are your meds? Um, when do your meds kick in? Because that's probably when you're most effective. So make sure that you're setting your heavier stuff, the things that require most of you, for when you are at your best. Um, yeah, let's do a quick recap. One, food prep healthy breakfast. If you're gonna do egg cups, um, oatmeal, um, overnight oats, whatever it is that you wanna do to make sure that you have a healthy breakfast that's almost ready by the time you wake up. Two, have a, have an alarm away from you. The more annoying, the better, but make sure that it requires that you at least take a few steps out of the bed so that you can get, go turn it off. Three. Create a consistent routine flow. It's good to have having a routine means your body eventually is going to adapt and learn how to do it by itself without you necessarily putting too much mental energy into it. But the more consistent and the better it flows, the more likely your body will adapt sooner. Four, set your intentions for the day. Decide how you want your day to happen before someone else, before the rest of the world get to add their negativity into it. Make a decision. Use Do your affirmations. Affirmations on the mirror are my favorites. Um, and finally, do the heavier tasks, the heavy lifting, the heavy mental lifting when your meds and your body are at their strongest. Because it, and if in order to, put, to perform the heavier tasks, the more intensive tasks, it's important that you are at your strongest. And figure that out. It may not be morning for everyone, but a lot of times because the day hasn't taken its toll on you yet, the morning will probably be one of the better times to do it. Um, yeah, that's it. As always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that there are professionals like myself who are available, able, and willing to help and are even providing remote services who can assist with whatever you may have going on. So 
please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need them, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.